Welcome back, gentlemen. So in the last video, we talked about potentially coming down. If we broke this low, we were looking for a 1% trade towards the downside. Okay, unfortunately, and there is good news here, but unfortunately, uh, we did lose this too quickly. Okay, so it was a 15 minute candle. It just slammed it down, as you can see here. Uh, so we didn't get a candle close in this area, which is what we were looking for uh, in terms of finding that 1% trade. But n don't worry, okay, because not all is lost. We did find a 1% trade uh, on that one hour uh, with the webinar strategy. As you guys know, I explain this quite a lot in my webinars. But uh, what we look for here is a simple five step strategy. We break support, okay, we come back, we retest the seven SMA on the one hour, and then we just go for a 1% trade in that direction. And because momentum's going in that direction and because bots will typically put the liquidity along moving averages like this, uh, we essentially can have a pretty good probability of coming through and finding that 1% trade. And if we do have a 1% stop loss towards the other side and a 1% take profit, it's typically, although it might not seem like a good risk reward, uh, it's typically uh, a very, very profitable thing. This is, one of my, uh, this is one of the things my mentors taught me many, many years ago. And it's something that has just consistently continue to make money when we do come out of these sideways areas. Okay, so uh, if we are looking at that, that's fantastic. We did get a little 1% trade here uh, and that's good stuff. Okay, we, we have also hit this 60 minute volume weighted ATR band that we haven't actually touched in a while here. We're looking at this, following this down. The last time we touched this was actually mid November. Okay, so yeah, definitely something that's pretty crucial here in terms of us maintaining our uptrend. It's good that we've come back up here, but uh, we have a lot more uh, of, of a way up to go here if we want to continue this uptrend. It's already made a higher low. Uh, sorry, it's already made a lower high and uh, it's not looking fantastic. We've tested that volume weighted ATR band on the four hour. Okay, we are now back below it. And when we are below it, uh, we can usually expect it to become a pretty big resistance here after that time. Now, if we break above these areas again, Okay, I'm talking about this bad boy at 44.2 and this bad boy at 43.4. Uh, then yes, the ball is back. Okay, but if if we don't, it's not looking fantastic. Okay, and I would expect just lower highs to come through and then for us to essentially come back down, test these lower 40s, consolidate for a little bit, and then it's really dependent on whether we hold this line. Okay, so if we're looking at this line here, uh, I think I drew this on the four hour. Yeah, something like this. We can see that these are the, these are the crucial areas that we needed to maintain above. Uh, we are above them but we have tested below them and trapped below them quite a lot here guys so just be careful out there in terms of trades in terms of what i'm looking for before we do look at the on chain because there's some serious serious stuff i want to talk to you guys about with the on chain some big things have happened here uh, in which I do want to show you because it could spell the end of this little bull run uh, for now anyway, which could lead us down, well, back down to the mid 30s at least for a bit more of a cooling off period. So uh, yeah, stay tuned for that. But without further ado, the trades I'm looking for right here, right now, uh, let's just chalk this up because I haven't actually looked at this yet today. Uh, what we're going to look at is essentially this, obviously this beautiful uh, resistance here that we have hit twice. So if we get up above there, it's going to be a good time. Okay. And then we can also draw in a bit more of a pattern this way here. If we are going to draw this uh, a little bit more accurately. Yeah. Something like this. So if we can get uh, an ascending triangle here, that'll be fantastic. This isn't confirmed as an ascending triangle just yet because we haven't hit that top side. Okay. But as of right now, in terms of these mid time frames here, guys, uh, these are the trend lines I'm looking at. I'm actually going to get rid of this now because it's going to be more important to be watching this one uh, as this is the main structure here on the diagonal okay so if we are going to look at this yeah so yeah there is there's a few trades here actually so if we do come down from this point here guys and we do want to test this bad boy again what we'll be looking for is a beautiful measure move here actually let's just draw the trend line in right what we'll be looking for is for this trend line uh, to be a, a different pattern right so more of a symmetrical triangle here uh, and yeah we'll be looking for the measure move the most recent wave and then if we do break down from this 60 minute volume weighted ATR band here guys We'll be looking for a quick little trade that looks like 1% to me. Let's just check it out. Let's just, okay, 2%. Okay, beautiful stuff. So yeah, we'll be looking to break that 60 minute volume weighted ATR band. We'll look for a, a 1.7 to 2% trade here. I would expect us to potentially come down and test this 200 EMA on the four hour quite easily. But uh, just for the sake of the measure move here, guys, we will look at this and say, okay, yeah, so 1.72 uh, with an entry of about 40,700 all the way down to $40,000, okay? It's, it's a pretty decent looking trade in terms of planets aligning, in terms of uh, being around those 
round numbers here in which we can get a bit of a bounce from. Okay, so that would be the short that I'm looking for right here. And you're probably wondering why I'm not taking it a bit higher here. Uh, if we did something like this, um, no, that's the trade I'm looking for. <laughs> if we did something like this, right, uh, why wouldn't I take it a little bit higher? And the reason for that is this 60 minute volume weighted ATR band, right? So the 60 minute here uh, will kind of get in the way of any trades. I would expect us, as we talk about all the time, right, to make a low first, come back up, retest, and then break the low for the entry. And by the time that happens, guys, with a wick down here as well, that's not something that would look fantastic in terms of a percentage move, in terms of uh, a take profit, right? So uh, the short way to explain that is there's not enough of a percentage here for us to really take a trade. Uh, if it's less than, I would say, a 0.8% of a move, it's probably not worth it. It's probably too volatile. And you've got the, the spread, you've got slippage and all this stuff, uh, the taxes and the fees <laughs> these exchanges charge you. It's not really worth it, particularly if you're on the higher leverage as well. So that's the short I'm looking for right now. Uh, if we are going to zoom out here to a uh, actually, no, let's let's talk about the upside first here before we go up to the daily. So if we are going to look at this right here, right now, just checking I'm recording. Beautiful. Yeah, <laughs> we want to see a bit more of a high come in here. So if we come back down, we test this price action channel and this high is confirmed. We can be eyeing up the measure move towards the upper side as well. Right. So we can be eyeing up this. Uh, and again, we're just, be, we're just gonna look to get over that four hour volume weighted ATR band just to be safe here. Um, and yeah, so we get over this wick here, 43.5, and then we look for a 1% move up to that 60 minute volume weighted ATR band uh, and maybe even have a take profit higher here. So stagger those take profits uh, for potentially a 2.5% move as well. Okay, fantastic stuff. So those are the two trades I'm looking for. And the entry point on that long would be again, 43.5. It's exactly the same here. Again, step one, we need, for this to come down first to around 40, 42, 3, 42, 4 would be okay as well. All right. Then we want to come back up. We want to make a high. We want to come back down. We want to retest. And then we want to break the high for the entry. Once we've, once we've broken this high, we get in the long. We set up our take profits and we're good to go from there. Okay. Fantastic stuff. And I've just deleted there. <laughs> okay, good stuff. I'm a little bit sick here today, guys. So uh, unfortunate, but uh, I wanted to get a video out for you guys because I haven't done in a while. Uh, the longer term trade here, as you can see, let's just look at this. Yeah, the bigger ascending triangle potential here could come into fruition, but it's a little bit too early to tell. If that is the case, we do just remove these for now, guys. Uh, if that is the case, what we'll be looking for is something along the lines of us coming up first. Again, that would be fine. We'd still get our long. We'd still be looking fantastic here. Okay. Uh, and then, yeah, probably zigzag this out for an entry and then continuation towards the upside. And this continuation will be massively bullish. Uh, but again, I want to talk to you guys about the on-chain next because it's looking uh, pretty dangerous here uh, for the on-chain. We've talked about this past few videos, all right? And the one machine and the volume weighted ATR band, by the way, guys, are on sale at the moment. I'll talk about that at the end of the video. So feel free to skip to the end or just wait for the end uh, for that. But uh, yeah, let's take a look at this as well. Yeah, bull market barrier, fantastic stuff. We're massively above that. I would still expect us to test this at some point in the future. Usually when we get over this bad boy, if I can just zoom out to previous cycles here, come on. There we go. Beautiful stuff. <laughs> Previous cycles here. When we do test the top side of this after a bear market, we like to have a transitional period. Okay. And that's congruent throughout. So uh, yeah, what we will say is I would expect some kind of major pullback soon. But if that isn't the case and we do want to head up here, that's also absolutely fine. Thank you for liking the video as well, guys. Helps me out so, so much. And if you are just watching, you don't want to like the video, that's absolutely fine. Okay. <laughs> that's absolutely fine here. It just helps me out. I'm trying to grow the channel teach more people. Uh, but yeah, you do you. All good. All good here. Uh, and yeah, if we do want to head down here, the measure move on this this descending triangle, ascending triangle right now would essentially be down to this bull market barrier as well, right? So yeah, key area to be watching here. If we do want to break below these lows at 40k, uh, definitely watch out for another potential multiple thousand dollar move downwards here, okay? Doesn't mean I'm super bearish. I'm actually a lot more bullish here looking at the structure of this chart. But if we are looking at the on-chain here, which I'm going to talk to you guys about next, boom, okay, we can see that we do have, uh, let's just take a look actually first, let's take a look at this, okay, 141 isn't too bad, but when we look at the chart here over previous runs, our previous highs, we get these jagged dumps here, and we're 
first, I should probably explain what this is. Okay, so this is similar to hash rate, but this is the power going in to mining Bitcoin and the cost of that uh, surrounding that. So the the the, the models of, of mining Bitcoin, essentially, right? So how much does it cost a miner to mine Bitcoin uh, in terms of uh, mining it and then selling it and the energy surrounding that, okay? And the cost of electricity, okay? So if we are looking at where it is right now on the far right, we can see uh, a little bit a little bit of a downwards turn here and this is actually pretty bearish obviously we did have our dump the other day but the fact that this has gone down now uh, it's it's not really done this in a while the only really comparable thing we can see here is something like this okay here that, that we had at September 2021 so again uh, we had our dump then and then we continued up for another attempt all right so if we are looking at this we can say yes um, we can still recover but we need to break that high on Bitcoin okay just going back to the chart here we do need to break that 44k area if we do that then i do expect this to head back up again and continue the run up but just to be clear what i use this for is really the time period we have left in the run okay and if i'm looking at this right now i would probably say we have similar we have a few months left uh before a major pullback in the run like a serious pullback probably potentially a, a 50 percent dump or something like that where we do have a cooling off period and then if we want to continue from that point, fantastic stuff. Again, we were looking at probably a six month period for that transitional period that we were talking about previously. So uh, yeah, this is absolutely expected and there are many, many trades along the way. So feel free to subscribe to the channel uh, if you want to stay up to date with those trades. Okay, next thing from all of the experts here, we are looking at Caprol, Caprol, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but Caprol, uh, he's actually updated this on the 10th, so four days ago. And you can see here in terms of expansion, I don't really need to tell you guys this. You could probably see this looking at this chart, right? Uh, but yes, when it is green, it is good. Uh, and you can see that, yes, we are, we are continuing up with that rapid green expansion here in terms of the price, in terms of what's going on the back end of this. Is, is, is Again, it's on chain. It's looking at uh, the exchanges, funding rates, uh, all of this op open interest, this kind of stuff, right? So uh, yes, yeah, it's, it's getting getting all of that together, running some algorithmic thing, okay, and then calculating this. And you can see it's a pretty decent calculational algorithm, uh, and it shows you that, yes, um, correlative wise in previous runs when this is green it's looking pretty good long term okay so one thing i will say with this is in terms of how how long this is if we are looking in the top right here guys in terms of how long this is uh, so far in terms of length right we can see that uh, yeah there is a potential here that we do get a pullback soon so again my real prediction here guys is it's a bit of a cooling off maybe some sideways a pullback here back down to the mid 30s and then continuation of the run again looking fantastic for 2024 don't get me wrong looking really really good for bitcoin but as of right now i would be expecting this cooling off consolidation um sideways market coming through for a little bit and it will still be predictable because we're trying to get the retail in right these market makers are trying to get the retail in and they're trying to get everyone bullish again okay but they are going to shake out the high leverage people along the way and that's all this is really you can see here right so yeah i would expect a bit of that coming forward before some continuation towards the upside and then we bang it to five five million billion bitcoin okay <laughs> <laughs> no, my prediction on the, the high is probably around 100, 120k here, guys, uh, if I'm being realistic, okay? And if we are looking at this, yeah, I mean, we haven't had many false starts here as an oscillator when we are looking at this, right? Uh, so there is still potential here for a, a lot more upside to come. Uh, don't get me wrong, but yeah, I'm still still kind of edging towards that sideways uh, for now anyway, right? If we do want to smash it above the production cost price, which is at 48K, that's a great sign. As you can see here, if you're looking at this, okay, if you're looking at this, uh, we can see, and a lot of other YouTubers won't show you this, guys, right? But uh, I've been in the game six years. This is really what matters, what's going on behind the scenes in terms of the blockchain supply and demand like this is really what controls the price as well as market makers and stuff like that right but uh, if we are looking at this yes when bitcoin this blue line gets above this purple line which is the top side production cost uh, this is usually a great sign for a little bullish run okay we can see here coming out of our previous bear markets once we get above it we go absolutely parabolic okay um this is obviously mid bear market but we had this run to 14k in 2019 this was a great time i remember this very very well okay uh, and we can see that I, yeah, we get above that purple line, we absolutely slam it towards the upside. Bang, okay, beautiful stuff. We do it again here in 2020, all right, 2020. And as soon as we did that, bang, all the way up to 50, to 60K, 60, 70K, beautiful stuff, okay? So yes, if we can get above that, that is the key 
factor I'm looking at right now. Okay, but again, looking pretty bullish. I would expect some sideways. And then once we do break above this production cost line, and again, I will let you guys know on the channel for this, uh, this is really what matters. Okay, fantastic stuff. Okay, and then besides that, yeah, our Christmas sale, we have 10 left. Okay, 10 left. We, we're selling 25 of these, but we've got 10 left. Let me just show you uh, right here, right now, 90% off. You get a lot of stuff. Let me just show you the poster I made from, from Photoshop. Beautiful stuff here. Look at that. That is artwork right there i'm gonna i'm gonna sell that as an nft <laughs> but in all seriousness here guys uh yeah you get the trading course uh which is huge okay it's a six week course uh you get the coaching group where you can ask me any questions anytime okay you can even jump in a call with me i'm happy to do that if it helps you guys all right mindset rewiring course monthly webinar for you guys privately okay um you also get New Money Network Lifetime subscription, which uh, let me just show you guys this, right? So we, we've, we've started this business, my brother and I, uh, where we are basically getting courses on on showing everyone how to make money online, right? So particularly traders uh, do not have enough money to start trading, okay? So we wanted to set this up for people as well, particularly in trading, uh, so you guys can see that, okay? Uh, but yeah. You get all of this stuff, you get that for lifetime as well. Normally that's a monthly subscription. Normally all of this is a monthly subscription. So you get all of this for life. You get access to all my charts. So the chart I just showed you today, as you can see here, you can just look at this at any time. I'll show you the link and then you can look at this anytime. Beautiful stuff, okay. Uh, and normally this is worth over $6,000 and believe me, people pay that. Um, we sometimes charge more than this as well. Uh, but um, yeah, we're, we're giving you guys a good deal here because uh, you're, you're loyal, okay. You've been around for years here and the, the channel hasn't gone past parabolic but you guys have stuck around so we really appreciate that and before we do really scale our company we wanted to give you guys the opportunity to really just get in and have lifetime access here so feel free uh, to sign up for that and uh, as well as that we got two signal groups which is more long term uh, so if you if you aren't so good at trading this will just make you money on the long term if you follow all the signals okay good stuff uh, and then we got volume weighted atr bands which we showed you before wad machine breakout machine sideways money these are my four indicators that i've made myself uh, and i'm very proud of them they're all i use on my trading setups you can see them on my charts right now okay uh, you can see this you've got the volume weighted atr band this bad boy which is just fantastic i've not had a bad review on this yet okay and i was, was great i was really really happy when I figured this out and actually coded this up. But uh, yeah, it's it's something I use every single day. It's my main indicator at the moment. Okay, then we've got the WAD machine, price action channel, uh, all of the indicators you can ever wish for. Okay, if this is gonna load, no, it's not. Trading view is dead. <laughs> but you got all these customizable indicators. Okay, uh, and yeah, you'll get access to all of this for free, for life. Feel free to sign up. Enough shilling. Okay, enough shilling here, Hamilton. <laughs> but uh, yeah, if you do want to buy it, uh, let me just show you. Uh, let me just show you what it looks like, right? So this is the buying page. Okay, beautiful stuff. You can pay weekly, pay crypto, all of this. Um, yeah, this is the payment page. Simple stuff. And then this is the course. You'll get access to each each. Uh, thing each week right beautiful stuff as well and then uh, again you get access to all these other courses as well right so that's going to be it from me have a fantastic day again thank you for sticking around with the channel sorry i haven't been there uh, for the past week it's been pretty rough my bathroom completely flooded the uh, floor below me uh, the, the ceiling caved in it's just been a complete nightmare nightmare here and i've been like basically cleaning up my bathroom non-stop and it's just been brutal but hopefully that gets fixed soon okay i've also been having wi-fi issues it's just been a complete nightmare for me this past few weeks but uh, we made a good trade all right and that's what matters and uh yeah hopefully we can get a bit more content out for you soon i am going to be doing a massive massive challenge very very soon i think i'm going to scrap the 100 buck to one bitcoin challenge and instead do a five thousand dollar to one hundred thousand dollar challenge just because it's a little bit better because i like to run lo loads of strategies right guys so as you guys know I'll have my strategies for trending, have my strategies for sideways, and my strategies for sideways will require a decent bit of capital that we don't want to use too much leverage on, right? But in trending, we want to have that capital as available as well. And if we're doing that with $100 and these $10 things for grid trading, for example, you can only really take a trade if it's $10 minimum. So it doesn't really work, right? So that in hindsight, I really shouldn't have done that. I should have done 1,000 or, or 5,000, right? So I think 5,000 is enough to get going with this, and then we can go for from there but again the challenge isn't in a negative okay guys and i'll show you guys this in a future video uh it, it was actually just above break even we finished at 102 dollars okay after what three trades so we didn't really get going on it too much but we want to do something where we can run something consistently so grid bots will be running all the time
time on the mid and high time frames. Okay, so mid, yeah, mid and high time frames, and then we'll be running the trending strategies uh, with the majority of the account as well. But yeah, I think five thousand bucks is enough to get this going in terms of a challenge, right? So. Feel free, again, sign up for that Christmas sale. 10 spots left. Be sure to subscribe. Leave me a comment. Let me know how you're doing. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace out. And goodbye from me, Hamilton.